you guys remember this place? It's State Road Advent Christian Church. And of course, the church is much more than a building, but there is something important, something commanded, something powerful that happens when we, as the body of Christ, gather in unity to worship our God. And so this Sunday, we are going to be resuming our in-person worship gatherings. Uh, what it, Pastor Andrew and I wanted to do was create just a quick video to let you know what to expect when you come here this Sunday. And the very first thing I would just ask is that for in order to keep track of how many people are coming, the state has re requested that we not have gatherings that exceed 50 persons. So it'll be easier for us to keep track of who's coming into the building if we all come in through a common entrance. So we do ask that you park in the main parking lot and enter through this doorway right here. Yeah, maintaining six feet of separation between you and those of other households. And one of the things that Pastor Josh mentioned was that the state is recommending that we have a maximum of 50 people in a uh, in a room together. And so what we're going to do is, if our main sanctuary goes above 50 people, right to the left of that entrance will be this gym door entrance. And we've set up a second sanctuary there with a uh, big screen. And so we'd like to show you a little bit what that's going to look like. recommended but not required and when you do come into the building you'll be presented right away by a uh, hand sanitizing station if you're sick at all we do ask that you stay home so right now we'll head on into the building and we'll show you what to expect Uh, during the service, we want you to know that there will be one set of bathrooms available. Uh, we're going to be closing down the other bathrooms just for ease of cleaning and sanitizing between services. Also, we would ask that uh, people not wander throughout the building, but stay to just the sanctuary, the bathroom area, or if you're in the overflow section down there. The bathrooms that will be in use are the ones at the end of the long hallway next to the sanctuary. If you're in the overflow section in the gymnasium, there's a separate set of bathrooms down there, of course, for you to use also. So as you enter the sanctuary, you'll see that things look a little bit different. And so the first thing that we want you to be aware of is seating. You can see by the tape, we've marked off every other row and we're asking you not to sit within those rows. However, in your seats, as you sit with your family groups, we'd ask you to sit at least six feet apart from the next family group within your pew. Also, we're going to try to have our windows open if the weather permits to allow for natural airflow uh, down the long hallway as well as here in the sanctuary. We're afraid at this time that we're not able to offer any of our Sunday school programs, children's programs such as junior church and Sunday school and nursery. And so we'd ask that you be patient with one another as we enjoy the company of our children here in the sanctuary with us. One of the things that we also want to mention is that uh, for at least the first few weeks, uh, we are not going to be singing. We will have some songs at the beginning of each service, but we ask that you don't sing along. Use those times as reflection times. Use those times to look at the words more deeply or enjoy a time of humming as you worship. At the end of the service, uh, we're going to dismiss each row as we go to help with the flow of traffic out. That will allow us to make sure that uh, we're keeping socially distanced as people leave the building. Also, as you're on your way out, we'd ask you to uh, place your offering. We won't have an uh, offering collection time during the service, but as you're heading out, you'll see the plates right outside the doors of the sanctuary. Also down in the overflow, there'll be a plate there as well that you can leave your offering at if you so choose. Hopefully this has been helpful to you and just seeing what to expect this Sunday. Uh, in the midst of all of this, all that's strange, all that's not what it used to be, I really don't want us to lose sight of why we're gathering this Sunday, which is just very simply to worship our God. Uh, I, my, my biggest worry about this coming Sunday is that all the distractions with six feet and who's got a mask and who doesn't and all of the, all of the strange things that surround this Sunday's service will be a distraction from what we're gathering to do, which is just very simply to enjoy our God, to celebrate Him to enjoy Him in the midst of His Word together. 
Um, however, I do want to also stress that uh, there may be a lot of really good reasons why you don't yet feel comfortable coming to the gathering this Sunday. And I want you to know there is no judgment with that decision at all. Uh, if for whatever reason you have decided that it is not wise for you to come to church this Sunday, um, I fully understand that and I support it. And uh, something I just would stress is um, there's varying levels of comfort with coming back together in the way that we're going to be doing this Sunday. And so I would just ask you to be respectful of the possibility that the person uh, that you're eager to see may not be comfortable um, with somebody coming up inside their personal space. Um, and so just as much as possible, would just ask that you respect that six feet of distance and uh, refrain from shaking hands or any physical contact with other people who might be coming. And we do ask that when the service closes that people kind of leave quickly so we can get down to the job of, of cleaning and turning the building over before the next service. Uh, but that's it. Guys, I just am looking forward to seeing you this Sunday and uh, I hope that it will be a blessing to you.